and welcome back to the channel on this video as we ride around on the Lear graffiti I want to talk about e-bike warranties and what got me thinking about doing this topic today is that recently somebody was telling me that they like I did had issues with their aerial rider grizzly controllers and it got me thinking about warranties and how well we're protected so on this video I'm gonna do that let's talk a little bit about it and then I'll give my experience that I had the issues I had with my uh, aerial rider grizzly so basically most not all but most warranties are one year and they don't include everything of course they don't include things like tires and brake pads and things like that so it's more mechanical uh, things or also if there's any shipping damage so anyway uh, some of them now though are giving you two-year warranties I have seen that on some bikes now and I, I like that I like the two-year and here's the reason why I like the two-year as opposed to the one year because Well, let me give me let me give you my uh, what happened to me with my aerial rider grizzly then we'll get into the one year two year thing so so I got my uh, aerial rider grizzly last April pretty much right to uh, exactly 14 months ago and after four months things were going fine I did a review on the bike uh, some of you may have already seen that review up on YouTube it's back I think it's the 15th of August that I did that video of last year and things were going fine the bike was great and then a little bit after that I don't know exactly I think a couple of months after that maybe or a month and a half I can't remember exactly but I started having issues with the controller on for the rear motor and when I ride the aerial rider grizzly I mostly use just the rear uh, motor the rear drive only and then if I need to have extra acceleration at any point or for hill climbing I would put both motors on but I for the most part I, I ride around with one motor to this day I still do that so that's probably why the it was only the front at the time that went but anyway so I had controller issues and I started to contact Ariel Ryder about the situation and it was a little bit a little bit slow at getting back to me but uh, we were we did have a little bit of communication email back and forth uh, so it was strictly email communicating and So in the meantime, I still wanted to ride and there was still another motor on that bike. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna ride it around using the front motor uh, because it still worked. Like the controller was fine on that one. Well, you gotta be careful riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly with just the front motor because it, it'll spin out on you. And if you're not careful, you know, you could lose control of your bike and, and that could be uh, a problem. But I knew how the bike was you know I had it long enough I know the bike well by, at that point so anyway so I started driving and while well, I'm communicating back and forth with Ariel Ryder over the controller issue and I don't know if a little bit of time went by not a lot but a, a little bit of time went by and then the controller went on that as well for the front motor 
So then I contacted them, like let them know, well now the other one is gone too. And controller, the motor, the, it's acting the same way as the rear motor. So, you know, I told them the situation and what it was doing and then they said it sounds like a controller issue. Um, they wanted me to stop immediately riding the bike and I had to send them pictures and stuff like that too in the meantime. But anyway, it finally got to where I sent them the controllers back. They sent me new, like they sent me new ones and then I sent returned the old ones in the box that the new ones came in or they gave me boxes to put to send it back to ship it back to me. So I did that. So anyway, long story short, everything got well again, but in the meantime I had to uh, have the controllers put on. I didn't put them on myself. I had somebody do it for me. So I, I uh, paid somebody to do it. So you have to pay out of pocket, even though the bike is under warranty. The warranty does not cover labor, it just covers, uh, covers parts. So anyway, I got it all done and all was well and the bike to this day is working fine now with the new controllers. And that's version two, if anybody out there is wondering which which bike I have for Aerial Rider Grizzly. It's the second version. Now there's version three out there. But anyway, so the situation is now, I, I'd say I put around at the time that the controllers went wonky, I was around 700 miles ridden on the bike. Okay, so, and that's riding it basically every single day. Uh, you know, like pretty much every day I rode that bike. Um, there may have been the rare, rare few times that I didn't, but for the most part, basically every day riding it. And so what I'm getting at is about the one year, two year thing with warranties. So I say I put approximately 700 miles. I don't know the exact total when this situation happened, but somewhere in there. Let's say someone else has the same issues and it's past the one year they're out of luck they have to pay out of pocket whatever the cost i'm not exactly sure the cost of the controllers whether it be one or two that they need and so you're out of luck well the way i look at it is that what if that person that has that problem had the bike just over a year say it's a year and a month we'll just use that um, and, but they only put, uh, or they put the 700 miles, but it took them that long, more than I did, like twice as long. What I'm getting at is that maybe there should be a mileage thing. You know, it should be like a car, they'll say, whatever comes first, 10 years or 100,000 miles. Well, maybe with a bike, maybe they should do 750, uh, 750 uh, miles or one year or something like that because it's not fair to the guy who only rides his bike maybe a couple of times a week and doesn't ride in rainy weather or doesn't ride in the cold in the winter you know he just he or she just rides it you know once in a while not every single day they're not like I am out there every day on the bike so I think they should extend warranties for all bikes. And I, I, like I say, I'm starting to see this now for two years instead of one. Especially for those folks that don't ride every day or don't go very far, you know, and, but then they have an issue with their bike. You know, why are they getting penalized? Um, because they didn't do their warranty within a year, you know? Um, but that's just me, uh, my thinking on it. But if you have a, an opinion on this topic, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I know, I know there are some things, like I say, that they aren't protected under the warranty. And uh, I know labor is one and the labor unfortunately can cost you more than the part for the bike so sometimes you wish that they would cover the labor but not the the part you know because the parts cheaper so
We have a FedEx truck that's in my lane. I'm going to try to whip by him real quick here. Is he legally allowed to park in the bike lane like that? It's not a parking zone. That's the only problem I've had yet with the uh, Grizzly, other than I've changed the tires because the tires were worn. But that's to be expected. Tires don't last for long, especially on a lot of bikes these days. Most, for the most part, they don't put very good tires. And that's one of the things I wish they would, or maybe give you the option to put good tires on there because that's always the first thing for me that seems to go, right? And uh, it sure would be nice to not have to change your tires, at least go a whole year. I'd like to go a whole year. <laughs> Maybe that's asking too much, but like a good 1,500 to 2,000 miles would be nice if you could go that far on your tires. But uh, if I remember, it was right around the same time actually that I got the controllers that I put got the new tires on the bike, the uh, E Huntsman. So right around 750 miles. That sure doesn't sound like a lot, does it? To have to get new tires put on, but. Anyway, give us, give us uh, nicer warranties and give us better tires for our bikes. I'm willing to pay a few hundred dollars more to get better tires on my bike right away than have to uh, buy them later and put them on. You want the bike, for me anyway, I, maybe I'm different than you guys, but I want the bike and I want to ride it right away. I don't want to mess with anything. I want to get on it and ride it. Because this is the fun part about e-bikes for me, is riding it. Cruising down the road like this, and on a nice sunny day, nice breeze. Can't beat that. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video on the channel. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Leave a comment in the comment section for this or any other video on the channel if you'd like. Once again, thank you for joining me today on this video. And until next time, take care.